swimming today. Excuse me, but what? Everyone is swimming today. Swimming? Yeah, let's go. But it's really cold outside. Yeah, let's go swimming. Whew, okay, let's go. Hi and welcome to day 22 of Defemorember, your daily ephemera inspiration in December. This is Luisa Heinzel and this December daily series is a collaboration with my dear friend Barbara at 49 Dragonflies. That means from December 1st to 25th you will get two videos per day to watch, one on her channel and one on my channel. We are working with this prompt list and Defemoramba is all about making ephemera for your junk journal, having fun, trying new things, and sometimes it means having a little hamster on your desk. <laughs> so perhaps you can guess which animal we can use today. And I was so looking forward to this day because I always wanted to try out what I've shown in the intro of the video because this hamster is actually a really, really cute gift. It was sent to me by one of my German viewers in one of my German videos I made. It's actually really long ago, but I made a joke about hamsters and I said, please don't send me a hamster. Yeah, that was a joke in that video. Perhaps it's not so funny without the context, but a few weeks later, there was a package and I received this hamster. And this is just so cute. He's on my craft desk nearly every day. And especially when I'm struggling, I'm talking to him and often he has a really good idea to solve a problem, for example, or to give me motivation. And this is just so cute. And I was always looking forward to this day where I can put him into one of my videos as a character. And today it's the day. And this thing is actually, I guess, meant for children. You can turn him <laughs> on here. And now... He says everything that you are saying. <laughs> and he makes the funniest noises ever. <laughs> this is just so cool. But I have to turn him off, otherwise he will talk with us during the whole video. So... In our paper bag, we are going to find the Defemoramba animal card with the hamster, obviously. And, of course, also one of our international snacks. <clears throat> Here we go. Please go out of the way for a moment. So, this is the hamster from the card. He looks a little bit different, but it's a hamster as well. And, of course, you can find these cards as a freebie. Perhaps you are new here, then let me um, quickly explain that. There are all 25 animals for Defemoramba available as those cards, 25 cards. And... Um, you can also find the prompt list in English and in German linked down below this video so that you can print that out and work with those things for your own ephemera. And today it's day 22 of Defemoramba. That means we are coming to the end of Defemoramba. Barbara and myself are coming to the end with our videos. But that doesn't mean that you can't create something after Defemoramba. Yeah, last year we had Defemoramba as well and we've experienced that Defemoramba is something that can also be done in the rest of the year. So please don't be panic. If this is your first video that you are seeing, um, then just come in, join us make perhaps the last prompts that are here on the list and then you can start with one and go through the list and you can of course watch all of the videos that we have already published there's a whole playlist linked below this video where you can watch everything that you perhaps have missed whoa oh that looks very delicious this is one of our international snacks it says hazelnut that's really cool, but what is that? Is that coconut as well? 
I don't know, but this comes from Turkey. So, uh, yeah, <sighs> I hope that we will have some drying time today uh, so that we can enjoy the snack. The prompt for today is water and envelope insert. <laughs> so that means we have to create something that can go into an envelope. So perhaps you're new to junk journaling. What the heck is an envelope insert? That is something that you can put into an envelope. I mean, a letter or a postcard, a journaling card, a tag can also be put into an envelope, of course. But we want to make something that is made for a special envelope. And that is the insert that goes into that special envelope. So um, not something random but something that we've created for putting it into this envelope. Here, there's this half envelope uh, that I originally had put around this corner here when I created this little thingy. And of course, we could also use something like this. It's open here. It's not so bad because these little things here are looking like waves a little bit. This is already blue. We have this cool bluish page here on the right. So that is a really, I mean, when we talk about water and we want to have something like water, I mean, the hamster wants to go swimming today, then this would be just perfect. As you can see, this thing was originally a junk envelope, um, a junk mail envelope. I think that's the right word. So you can see here's some writing. This is not so ugly, I would say, because this just says Austrian uh, post. Here it's something about Vienna and here's, here it says Austria. Austria? I mean, Österreich. The, the German word for Austria. This is not so bad, especially because it says Vienna here, Wien. Barbara comes from Vienna. This journal actually was made in Vienna. It's great that it is here. But here it says Finance Online. And that means that has to do with money and, you know, that stuff. I don't want to have that there. And at the same time, I mean, next to making this beautiful, I want to have some waves because he wants to go swimming and he really likes waves and there's fun in the water. So <clears throat> I want to try to make little slots here. I think I need some scissors to get that started. So I'm just taking my scissors. And of course you can take a normal envelope. Yeah, you don't have to use anything fancy. You don't have to put that around the corner like I did that here. This is just in this uh, stage because I've made this here and this is the other part of the envelope. So here's actually another pocket. So if you have missed that video, perhaps you don't know how I have constructed this. This is another pocket and that comes because I have folded the original envelope into half and then I've put it around the corner and I've glued it here after sewing around it here. So that means here is a pocket and this is, if you will, a tuck spot. So of course you can do that with a normal loose envelope as well. That would be actually way more easy <laughs> if you do it because now I have to tear this here in the journal and that's always a little bit, <laughs> you know, dangerous. <laughs> so I'm trying to get <clears throat> A wavy tearing here, just like this, and then I want to fold this over, roll this a little bit, so that it looks like waves. And if you use a um, an envelope mm, that you've just taken out from the trash can, then I can recommend to sew around here like I did that here, or take some glue and try to glue down these edges here so that when you tear, you don't come too close 
to the edge here otherwise you could perhaps accidentally tear into this edge and that's not so good because then later on the pocket is not so sturdy anymore so i think i want to do this thing here with the waves only on the bottom part of this tearing here just like this and leave this as it is and i want to do um a second one and a third one here in the same style but i want to have this even more wavy more like ocean or something and of course a little bit more artsy as well and i think um crackle paste could be a really good idea this is opaque so that means if we want to put this on top here this would make this wavy foamy white thingy yeah but i'm thinking of combining two mediums the crackle paste opaque with collage medium crazing i have something in my head um to make i mean crazing collage medium is translucent it crackles but it's not white like this stuff and perhaps we can make a cool effect combining that i want to put the white crackle paste here oh that is way too much here to these areas where i've crumbled the paper so that this is the foam of the waves yeah <laughs> and i will also put a tiny little bit here into the blue paper but not into this opening there uh, please make sure that you don't glue your <laughs> pocket together with uh, putting the crackle paste in here uh, so that it doesn't stick together when it dries and now i want to take this and put that um yeah some in some areas here over the blue and this crackles as well but it's translucent so that means in the end we can see the blue through this paste and sometimes when you look to water then it's i mean water is transparent isn't it <laughs> but we often use blue for making water i mean you got that i think you got what i want to say or what I'm trying here actually but I've never tried to combine these both um, texture pastes with each other um, actually I don't know why because that is just I think a great idea to get this watery effect and if you don't have those texture pastes of course you could also put something else on top here to get a little glossy effect I mean I want to have this like water on a sunny day and you could reach this with other mediums of course as well that doesn't have to be a crackle medium you could also try to emboss this with clear embossing powder several layers of clear embossing powder and then you could uh, break that do you know this trick with the clear embossing powder i'm sure you know that if you have embossing powder you know this trick um, that you can get this crackled effect just by putting some layers of the clear embossing powder to your project and then um, let that cool down really well and then just break it i mean without tearing the paper of course but break the crackle uh, excuse me break the embossing powder or this layer that the embossing powder made <laughs> so i'm going to let this air dry and i think that means i mean that will take a while <sighs> i think that means we can already taste this and enjoy this here we go <laughs> we have this little snack from turkey and i have the feeling that i have to share it today i mean you know swimming makes hungry So it comes on this little plastic plate here two pieces oh two pieces empty that's good one for me and one for him perhaps 
Do you want to try it first? I haven't expected this color in the inside. Wow. That is fantastic. It's, fa it's just fantastic. It's really sweet. These nuts are obviously some kind of full nuts. I don't know if you can see that. It's Or half nuts, I would say. Really, I don't know if gritty is the right word for such a snack, but I'm always realizing that I don't have this food vocabulary, so I am always talking in this junk journal and, and texture vocabulary, but it's it, it feels like eating grit paste. I, might, I mean, I've never eaten grit paste, but this texture is really similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was just wondering about this orange color inside and the ingredients are solving this uh, question or answering this question. It says carrots and mm, the the order of the ingredients is carrots so that's the first one and that means obviously the most of this thing this thing is carrots then sugar and then the hazelnuts and some other crazy things oh and also cinnamon where was the cinnamon oh, mm -hmm. i mean i'm a cinnamon junkie totally i'm obsessed with cinnamon and when you know it, then you can taste it. That's crazy. And these white thingies outside, that is obviously some coconut um, shreddered, uh, geschreddert, um, grounded coconut, grounded coffee beans. Yeah, it could be the right word. This white stuff, coconut. Hmm. 10 out of 10, that definitely, because this was so surprising to find the carrots inside. And cinnamon always makes it special, I mean, <laughs> what can I say? Do you agree? <laughs> so this thing went into my candy journal. <laughs> and something went totally wrong with my crazing medium, I guess that I have put too much to some of the areas. I can see that it has crackled here and there where it's a little bit thinner, but in some areas it didn't crackle at all. But I did a little, a little trick. Um, I've let this air dry. <clears throat> then you get the better crackles than with drying it with your heat gun. If you put too much heat to this, the or heat at all, the crackles get a little bit crazy, not so nice. Um, but here, I think you can't see that. Can you see these little bubbles here? I've made them by putting my heat gun on top of the crazing medium and only on the crazing medium, not on the crackle paste. And then this bubbles up a little bit. I know that's not everyone's taste. But for this project, I really like these bubbles. And because the crazing medium didn't crackle so well, I think we can get a nice texture with these bubbles. The crackle paste opaque did a really good job. It worked really well and I really like this effect. And with the crazing medium, it's also um, because this is translucent, you can't see the crackles immediately after it has dried like with the crackle paste here you can see the crackles yeah but with the crazing medium you have to do something to bring the crackles out and you can reach that with different mediums but my personal preference is a crayon i want to use this distressed crayon peacock feathers i think that color matches really well and then you can 
let's do it first here perhaps you can go over that where the crazing medium is and then you can um, smear that around and bring that <clears throat> into these little crackles with your finger so that you can see that better and that's also I mean it's meant to do it like this you can also get really cool vintage effects to photos for example with this crazing medium and now I'm trying to show you the difference between those bubbles that originally are not <laughs> part of the effect that, that this medium can give you but I've just done it as I told you so that you can see the difference between the crackles and the the bubbles or this texture here it's that ah oh, it's just gorgeous <laughs> so here you can see that so hopefully my camera my camera can catch that here there are the crackles from the crazy medium they are really tiny and really hard to see but they are a really cool detail i would say and this is where the bubbles are underneath so it's an area that looked like this before the crayon was applied and this is with the crayon okay i think i already really like that but mm, here on the top there's some kind of a sandy beach isn't it because of this the color of this paper but i want to have some contrast here as well and i'm just thinking of adding a little bit of brownish yellow yellowish brown perhaps a mixture of antique linen and tea dye Ooh, i'm so sorry that was upside down let's see i'm starting with the tea dye now i want to have this here uh, on this edge here because then perhaps the pocket gets also a little bit more depth then let's add a little bit antique linen to make that more sandy this is relatively strange with the brown <clears throat> so i want to add some splatters i'm using distress paint vintage photo unfortunately i don't have the tea dye otherwise i would use that so i will also splatter to the right page here to connect these both pages and while this is drying, I will first cut out the hamster here from the cart. <sighs> he looks cute. I mean, all hamsters in this entire universe are cute. But <sighs> he wants to go swimming. So that means obviously something is missing. <laughs> So I was on my iPad for the last two hours, I guess. Um, for you, of course, it always looks like it's only a second ago that I have cut this out. But I was away for approximately two hours and uh, I'm coming back with this. <laughs> so this is, this is a freebie for you. And as you can see, I've given this hamster some accessories that he needs to go swimming i have also given you here a little piece that you can use to make what i want to do next in this video and i will also use this piece of paper here so that you can see uh, what i thought behind that so let's first decide in which direction we want him to be so that's the reason why he is here in two different variations so I thought perhaps that could be helpful for you 
uh, meaning this would be uh, one possibility that he looks to the left and to the outside of the journal and this would be the other way um, and I think since this page is blue and this looks like more water it would be cool to have this one here so I will just cut him out but of course you could also make a card or envelope insert with two hamsters one looking to the left and one to the right <clears throat> and you can find this sheet as a freebie on my website the link is down below in the description box so let's try how he could go in here so I mean I will put <clears throat> him to a little card what is going on here please this is sticking a little bit I will put him to a card that I want to put into this envelope but I first want to see if I want him to be here so that we then can take him out with the card that means we have to glue him to the top edge of the card that would be a possibility I really like this contrast here or what we also could do we could put him in here of course and make a smaller card okay let me just cut him uh, here the second one out as well because I just have an idea <coughs> to make two cards that can go in here so that we have two hamsters one here and one there really hard to decide but I think I want to have it like this so that means we need two cards that can go into this envelope then I am taking them both out for a moment to see if this can go in here and the other one has to go in here when this is in here we can just make it as short as we want and I think when he is glued down here later like this you have to eyeball that so that you cut it short but, but not too short because you want to glue this down to the paper later and um, this card is a little bit too long as well I guess I think the easiest way to glue this down is to find the right position that you like first just like this and then when you have that lift this up carefully so that you don't change the position of the hamster put some glue in between of the hamster and the card press that down and the same here just a little bit so that um, you have him in the right position on the card just like this and here come out ah, he wants to stay in the water <laughs> here we can just cut out this little thing these hamsters um, they are always swimming during the night because at the day 
at the day. Is that the right word? At, um, I mean, during the day. <laughs> it's too full at the beach. There are too many other hamsters and mice and people, children. So they don't really like swimming during the day. And because of that, they are always swimming du during the night. And uh, there's uh, a moon during the night, of course. <laughs> so I would like to use these moon masks by Tim Holtz. I've used them for my first prompt as well. So if you have missed that, you can watch the video, of course. You can find that in the playlist that is linked below. And I'm just... Just want to look. I think we will go with this big one. Yeah, let's make it really outstanding and a little bit bam. <laughs> And now I want to try something that I've actually never done with these moon masks. I want to try to make the moon a little bit, uh, yeah, in unusual colors. So I'm starting with peacock feathers to get this outline here. And by the way, this paper that you can see here in the background is one of my own digital printables that you can find in my Etsy shop. The set where this page comes from is called Nautical Garden. And as a little goodie, Defemoramba goodie, you can get this set with 50% off in my shop. Please use the code that you see somewhere here to put that into this little box at the end of your order and then you can get 50% off on the whole set. And I'm really uh, a little bit uh, confused because this looks like a horizon. Like you would look through a mm, bulldog eye. Oh my goodness, look how cute that is. Ah! I wanted to put that moon there, but now look at that. It looks like, like a horizon. Here is this little... Ah! Here is the water and here is the sky oh my goodness and here's another horizon can you see that that is what what is that what happened with my page i mean what the heck okay um now it i think it's uh running out of control now um <laughs> what can we do we could put and that's absolutely not what I wanted to do, but we could put one moon here. Let's try antique linen. Let's try to put uncharted mariner here to the middle and go with vintage photo on top. To be honest, I'm not happy with that. I think the Uncharted Mariner was not a good idea. This is, I think this is too dark. I will just try something. I will take a piece of paper and I will make this inner part of the moon new, but with a more lighter background so that the vintage photo, this pattern here that we've put to the top comes out better and I guess we need a color that is similar to this paper. I have um, the feeling that these both pages are divided here. There's no connection. I need this color somewhere here. I'm just thinking if I can cut a piece from this page out because it's the same paper. It has this. Why not? Why the heck not? Here we have also these turquoise splatters. <laughs> that looks also cool now. And then I will take this stencil here and I will quickly stencil this with vintage photo. 
What do you think? That's way better. Way, way better. I will glue this down. Now, what to do with this line? This line drives me crazy. But Barbara would probably say, here's one circle, here's another circle, and we need a third one to make this page harmonious. And perhaps we can do something in a similar way like this thing to cover this up, but leave these in the foreground. And then let's take some crayon again and go in here just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Okay, so let's <clears throat> add some white splatters here as well. And on the oxide ink, they will not stay totally white, but that's okay. <laughs> Searching for a matching quote that we can put somewhere here. <laughs> I came across these little guys. <laughs> these come from Ranger as well. Delusions, Bigger Back Chat Set 2. Oh my goodness, what a name. And this has <laughs> all of these funny quotes here and i've just found you don't have to be crazy to be my friend i'll train you and i thought why <laughs> why not putting him here he has no swimming suit like these both and perhaps <clears throat> he wants to be their friend. It's better when this is cut into parts because then it's not so long and not so massive. Uh, here on the top we can see more of this paper on the right. And I will just put the same pieces of scraps, I mean, from the same paper below here that I've used for these both cards. <laughs> this is probably my favorite project from the whole defemoramba and that is really crazy that is really really crazy okay so i've just added a few white splatters here so that he looks not so <laughs> naked even i mean he is naked now because these have clothes <laughs> so this is my finished project for today <laughs> I know it went a little bit crazy, but that is junk journaling. Exactly that is junk journaling and that makes junk journaling so special. So now we have two envelope inserts here that we can take out from this envelope. Oh, I can't do it with one hand. I'm so sorry. I wanted to show you some close-ups here. But when the journal is laying on the desk, of course, it's really easy. But that's also cool. You can also vary the position and this won't fall out. Really cool. <clears throat> and I think it's not necessary that I mention how much I love this moon mask by Tim Holtz. Just so fantastic. You can do so many things with that. And here's the little friend. <laughs> and here's the other friend. And, of course, we all are hoping, I mean, 
he and he and he and he and Barbara and myself are hoping that you liked today's video and please check out Barbara's video as well. She has, as always, another idea on today's prompt. The link to her channel is down below in the description box. Have a very great and creative day and see you tomorrow with another ephemera idea for your junk journal.